Okay, what's up guys? It's uh, MacBook Jost here, and today I am going to show you how to add the Homebrew channel on Wii 4.3U and 4.3E. So what you're going to need is 2GB SD card, no more than 2GB, and you cannot use a <clears throat> SDHC. I'm all like grody and stuff because I just woke up, and I, but I really felt like I needed to do this tutorial. So what you're going to do is if you're a Mac user, you have to download on RARX description. Link will be in the description. It's basically WinRAR for Macs. Now you're going to insert your SD card. If you don't have an SD card reader, you have to get an SD um, if you don't have a built-in SD card reader, you have to get a USB to SD card reader. It's only about five, ten bucks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna download the file. <clears throat> you're gonna download this file that I have for you in the description, Hack Pack Part One. And with WinRAR, you obviously know what to do. Just unzip it or extract it. But with UnRARX, just drag it in there. And it'll tell you all the files. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go extract, and it's gonna extract all the files right to your desktop. Now you're gonna take these files and just drag them. And just drag them right into your SD card. See it all there. So what you wanna gonna do is you wanna go to eject and now we'll uh, head over to the Wii. Okay, we're here at the Wii and now uh, what you need to do is go to Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Sorry for not filling in these spaces of the TV, but I couldn't get it perfect. Sorry if you can see my reflection. But, uh, here we go. Oh, and I forgot to mention if you have Super Smash Bros. Brawl, you have to go and delete your save game before you can continue doing this. Luckily for me, I've, I haven't even played Super Smash Bros. Brawl yet. So, um, I guess we'll just start it up. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is go to Vault, Stage Builder, and you're going to erase every custom stage that they give you. Now you're going to go back. And this is when you're going to take your SD card, oh, where's my finger, your SD card, you're going to insert it right into the Wii, but you can't see my Wii. Take it and insert it, you should click in, alright, now what you're going to do is go back to Stage Builder, you should just load right up, there you go. And where must not be sold, neither alone nor as part of the bundle. So luckily for you, I'm giving it to you free. I know, just a good person. Wait for it to tell you to press one to continue. It might even take a while. Now, if you can't see that. What it says is test results, just doesn't really matter, it's telling you to use an ISO. Hit continue. It's basic Wii controls, I know some people think it's different, it's just up, down, and A. So let's hit A. Now let's go to install homebrew channel. Install the homebrew channel now. Yes, continue. Now it's installing the homebrew channel. 
to continue. Now go down to boot me. Install boot me as iOS. Nothing else. Yes, continue. Yes, continue. Success. Continue. I'll go to prepare a SD card. Yes, continue. Success. Return to the main menu and exit. Let's see. The first time you do this, it, it should uh, take a while to load. Popping bubbles. There we go. Now what you have to do is, but I guess we won't do that. So we'll go to exit to system menu. And now you have the homebrew channel. Alright, now check out my next video. Check out my next video for how to put, how to burn discs and how to play backup games and uh, get apps for the homebrew channel. That's what it is. So we can get apps for the homebrew channel. Like preloader, uh, some other stuff. So stay tuned. Uh, I'll see you guys later.